Hey, Lars Lindstrom here, a uh, longtime Team Honda member. Been at American Honda now for 20 plus years. Uh, started kind of from the, the bottom, sweeping the floors around the shop here, and uh, worked a lot of different you know, departments, whether it be parts or engine or chassis or testing especially, to get to where I'm at right now, which is team manager. It's been a long road, but still enjoying it and wouldn't want to work anywhere else. My, my role as team manager now, uh, there, there's definitely a lot of things that I have to do or have to be involved in, and it, it kind of comes from all different angles, you know. It, it, it can one day be dealing with the transporters and the drivers to uh, machine shop, to R&D area, to riders, uh, to parts, you know, there's a lot of different avenues that, that I need to be well versed in. So between the 250 and 450, there's quite a bit of differences. Uh, you know, we kind of say sometimes that 250 you work on the engine and the 450 you work on the chassis. And it, it's pretty, pretty true because when it comes to the 450, you're trying to tame it and you're trying to make it rideable. And each rider has a different power delivery that they are needing or wanting. And Jet Lawrence is a great example of that coming onto a 450, his, his desire is totally different than what it is for Chase Sexton. The 250 side, you're basically going for as much power as you can get. I don't think you'll ever be able to get too much power out of a 250, and the rider will never never tell you that it's too fast. You're going for the max power you can get, you know, for the start and, and for uh, coming out of corners and things like that. It just, it makes a big difference. So engine-wise, you know, you, you get the mechanical parts to a, a certain spot, um, when you're working with the crankshaft or the piston or the cylinder head or valves and things like that. When it comes to piston design and durability and, and performance, uh, it really helps having a great partner like Wiseco where we can bounce ideas off of them, um, ask them for things that we need if, if there's a certain issue that we're having or something we want to be a little bit better at, uh, uh, whether it be measurements or shape or anything like that. Um, it's really, really important to have someone professional that knows uh, what they're doing at, at a high level like Wiseco. Uh, it's been really great having them on board and trying to just get to the next level and, and get a little bit better every year. Just being able to rely on them and work together. So between Supercross and Motocross, um, there's not a lot of differences in the engine package that we're, that we're doing. Um, motocross is definitely pretty brutal with the 30 minute plus two motos. Um, having to live in that environment, uh, you know, probably more heat going through the, the engine as a cycle because of the time that we're, we're on the track. And a lot of the tracks that we're at have, could be deep sand, very, very hot temperatures up to 100 degrees. And uh, so it's different conditions for sure from Supercross, but there's still not a lot of changes in the actual design of the piston or anything like that um, because you know, we still want the power that we can get in Supercross. We want this, you know, maximum power in outdoors too, especially on, on a 250. So, you know, when it comes to Supercross, there's there's the whoops, there's um, the the uh, amount of load that the engine gets when you're, this, you know, for example, seat bouncing out of a corner and trying to get a three uh, onto something or whatever. It, it, it's a big uh, G load that gets put and stress that the engine goes through. This is the first time that a, all three Supercross championships have been won by a single team. Um, it's been done by a manufacturer a few times in the past, very rarely, um, but this is the first time that it has been done by the same team. Every, all the riders under one tent, um, which is pretty special to us. Winning the Premier Championship was huge for us. Um, it's been a long time. Uh, it's been 19 years since we won a 450 Motocross Championship and uh, 20 years since the Supercross with Ricky Carmichael. I guess we're lucky right now, you know, we, we have such a strong team and, a, and a, such a bright future that um, it couldn't have come at a better time for us to, to roll into the Super Motocross Championship and uh, probably be the, the favorites going into that. So um, we'll just have to take full advantage of that and try to, try to win as much as possible.